Welcome to Reanimator Reviews, I'm Rayanne, and today I will be talking about Patchwork, which I just watched on Netflix yesterday. It seems like the movie opens up kind of a little bit in the present, but then it has like a time jump when the title sequence kicks in. So it's whom you assume to be kind of like a mad scientist slash doctor sweet talking a beautiful blonde severed head and another guy walks in and he's kind of like what are you doing and of course it's awkward and he tries to play it off like nothing's really happening you know goes back to working on a body and opens up a microwave and takes out a very familiar looking green liquid <clears throat> reanimator and injects it into the body, <clears throat> also reanimator. Nothing happens, so he walks away. And then we just see this <clears throat> of a hand, which you then assume it did work, but dude kind of missed it because he left the room. So this movie kind of has all these different parts. And the first part is Jennifer, who is a beautiful, successful business lady. It's her birthday. She's also signed a huge deal, signed a huge client, and she wants to celebrate. Unfortunately, Jennifer is also the other woman, which is um, very uncomfortable. Nobody really wants to stay and celebrate her quote-unquote friends, her quote-unquote boyfriend with the stupidest Bluetooth in his ear possible, and of course, obnoxiously chewing gum. So you kind of already hate the guy, at least I did, because don't chew gum like that. It's gross. She leaves... Well, before she leaves, she bumps into someone she used to go to school with, gets his name wrong about 40 times, even though he keeps correcting her, and snubs him, leaves, goes back to her condo, and you see her get hit in the head with something, a whole bunch of blood coming out of her head, and she gets dragged away. She then wakes up in a creepy warehouse, which we realize is the one that was in the first part of the movie right before the, the title sequence, and... She can't quite maneuver her body the way she normally would. She thinks she's really hung over until she looks at herself in the mirror and realizes that half her hair is Jennifer hair, half of her hair is that blonde hair from the first sequence, and she has scarring going around here. We learn later, well, I learned later because I couldn't tell because I'm visually impaired. One eye is a different color than the other eye. It looks like she's all been patchworked together as the title of the movie now makes sense. At this point, she starts to realize she's not alone. There are two women also inside her brain or her consciousness, I suppose. One named Madeline, one named Ellie. They're trying to work together to get out of the warehouse to go back to Jennifer's condo sort of figure out how they can get along, at least be civil with each other, especially when it comes to maneuvering certain parts of the body because you learn, you know, this one controls the hand, this one controls the foot, this one controls this. And it she never really quite gets it to like a nice steady gait. It's kind of always jerky and the one foot's turned in, but that could be from her just being put together like that. We learn a bit about Ellie, how she became part of this patchworked woman. We learn a bit about Madeline. We learn you know, how they were all kind of in the same place at the same time at the bar that Jennifer was celebrating her achievements and her day of birth. Ellie was also there, who ended up going to a frat party, and Madeline was also there getting a drink. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I will say that this is a revenge movie because these women want to work together to figure out who did this to them why it was done to them, and they have this really big dream of being put back together as their respective bodies, which, I mean, is that really possible? It's not, but also, like, a patchworked woman being brought back with, like, a great value reagent also isn't possible, but it's a movie. So, what did I like about this movie? As I keep mentioning, I really like the nod to Reanimator because that is one of my favorite films in the entire world, and I love it, and I love Jeffrey Combs. And it was, you know, not 
a purely horror movie, although there were a lot of horrific elements, like the body horror element with the patchwork woman, the psychological element with all of these different personalities combating each other, but they did have a lot of funny stuff in it, which was great. There's also um, a patchwork animal that is part owl, part cat, and as you can see, I love cats, and I love owls, because they're essentially just like flying cats that poop out bones. That, that's metal. You can't get cooler than that. The gore that we did see, I really liked. I thought it was great. Um, however, as a dislike, there could have been a lot more gore. I, I wanted to see more entrails and more stuff like actually happening, not so much just you know, you see it off camera and you see a blood spray. I feel like sometimes that's a little cheap, but also this didn't seem like it was the largest budget movie, so maybe they just didn't have it, you know, maybe they spent all the money on the prosthetics for the, the patchwork woman and then couldn't really, you know, do too much, so they had to incorporate the kind of off-screen stuff. Another one of my dislikes, as I've mentioned the vision issues, there's a eyeball stab and the person is, you know, it's disgusting. There's also a shot of when he's putting the bodies together, he's holding the eyeball by the retinal nerve and uh, takes the contact off of it and is like, Whoa. and I was like, Whoa. that's disgusting. Gross. The thought of like dead bodies being sewn together, I'm unusually okay with but like holding an eyeball like that just is repulsive speaks a lot to my character doesn't it I also felt like there were a lot of scenes where it was kind of like way too much in my opinion pushed on me that there was this like girl power like sisterhood thing but it wasn't genuine at least it didn't feel genuine in my opinion there's a lot of ways you can do it where you like kind of rally behind them and you're like, yes, queen, like I'm with you. I'm one of your sisters, but this was kind of like, oh, that's kind of embarrassing to watch. So I would rate Patchwork probably like a 2.5 to a 3 out of 5 just because it was a fun watch. It did make me laugh a few times and I felt, you know, I didn't waste my time watching it. I, there are a lot of things that I would have changed in it. I maybe would have made things a lot grosser, a lot more gory, maybe a lot more serious in some aspects, but it was a fun time and I do recommend it. But you know, maybe someone else will enjoy it. As I said, I did find this on Netflix streaming. I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else, but be my guest to find it. Have you seen this movie? What were your thoughts? Would you actually like a hybrid cat-owl as a friend? Because I might, but we can't get any more cats because she'd be jealous. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Please leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Hit the like button if you did enjoy the video. Hit the bell to be notified of all my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo reviews as well as the ones with the groom are available in podcast form via iTunes, the Farsighted Network. I also now have my own channel on iTunes, so please come give a listen if you're driving. I'm super fun to listen to. And uh, I think that, that pretty much wraps that up. And... Go check out Patchwork. See you later, guys.